Hi friends. I'm recording this on Thursday evening at my house and there's live music outside at the Buxton Inn across the street. You might be able to hear it in the background. It's kind of derailing my train of thought for the video. <laughs> but this weekend we celebrate Labor Day and it's the unofficial end of summer. Since I'll be taking Monday off too, I thought I would think a little bit about it with you now. The origins of Labor Day go back to a very bleak period in American labor history. In the late 1800s, at the height of the Industrial Revolution in the United States, working conditions were deplorable. It was common for people to work 12-hour days, seven days a week. Children as young as five and six years old worked in mills and factories and mines. Working conditions were unsafe and unsanitary and unhealthy. And I haven't even mentioned the unlivable wages that people were earning. In an attempt to improve working conditions and hours and pay, labor unions became more active and more vocal. On September 5th, 1882, 10,000 workers in New York City participated in a one-day strike, and they marched from City Hall to a park uptown. It was the first Labor Day parade in American history. In the years following that, many towns and cities and states recognized Labor Day as a holiday. But it wasn't until June 28, 1894, when President Grover Cleveland signed a bill into law that it became a national holiday. The Methodist Church advocated for workers' rights and for the end of child labor. In 1908, the church adopted a social creed which dealt solely with labor issues. From that first social creed to the social principles that we have today, which address not only labor issues, but environmental and economic and political and human rights and international and all kinds of issues, we believe in God-given human dignity, which includes justice in the workplace. Here's just one excerpt from our social principles that highlights our belief that people, not profits, should be the heart of our economic system. Throughout scripture, God commands us to treat workers with respect, dignity, and fairness. Exploitation or underpayment of workers is incompatible with Christ's commandment to love our neighbor, a love that extends to all persons in all places, including the workplace. Sometimes it's easy to forget that our faith should impact every aspect of our life. We have the tendency to compartmentalize faith, education, work, economics, leisure, social life, and on and on. But the truth is that if our faith doesn't affect how we spend our time and money, if our faith doesn't affect how we vote or what we value, if our faith doesn't affect our attitudes, words, and behaviors, then we have some growing and maturing to do. None of us is perfect, but as John Wesley would say, we are all going on to perfection, which means that our faith is growing so that every aspect of our life will align with the unlimited, unmerited, unconditional love of God in Jesus. We are all somewhere along that road of being made perfect in love. So let's be gracious and forgiving and encouraging to one another. Enjoy the long weekend and party responsibly, and I'll see you again Sunday and Tuesday. Thank you.